Hello everybody, welcome to our market report. My name is Christian Charlo. Today we're Thursday, July 19. So today I'm going to talk to you about in this market report about the situation, overall situation of the mining sector on the, on the TSX. Uh, first of all, I want to talk to you about the technical situation of the silver. Look at here the silver. Uh, this is the ETF that tracks the silver spot price. It's SLV on New York Stock Exchange. First of all, it is a nice triangle formation, totally neutral. We're still waiting to see what's going to be the next cycle on, sil on the silver spot price. If ever we have the reversal of that downward trend on the silver spot price, there could be a lot of stocks that could be a potential breakout and good opportunity uh, to buy uh, for swing trading. But if ever we go down, well, then, you know, the low is really like we can make a new low, like we'll lose all the points that we gain ever since uh, 2011. So that is really critical, the technical situation where the silver spot price is right now. There are some stocks that are actually going up today before this, uh, this new f cycle that we're waiting for on the silver spot price. Which are they? The, this is first Majestic Silver. It is actually going up because this is a breakout, technically speaking, because it is breaking its resistance. But there's that trend there, that downward trend that limits the gain potential in first Majestic Silver. So at this price, it is a risky buy. But if you get in now in first Majestic Silver, you have to put your stop loss at 14.19. And you also have to really look at this technical situation of the silver spot price. If ever we have the reversal of that downward trend on the silver spot price, well, First Majestic Silver, I bet it would continue to go up. So at least if you get in now, you'll be able to get in before the cycle started on the silver spot price. So that is a risky bet, but still it will pay off if ever we have a direction on the upside on the silver spot price. So it is worth to watch. Technically speaking, it is a buy, but you have to protect yourself and put a stop loss at 14.19 on First Majestic Silver. Another one, which is not there in a breakout, but that could follow the movement of the silver spot price, it is Silver Court Metal, which is making a nice side reformation. If we put the stochastics, it is totally oversold, so we're waiting to see our investors are going to rush into that stock to finally um, make it reach the overbought situation. So far, we don't have it, but technically speaking, it is in a nice neutral formation, so it is worth to watch. So those are the silver stock, stocks that I want to talk to you about, but I also want to talk to you about the mining sector, which today is starting a bullish cycle, clear bullish cycle because it's breaking its resistance. And there are some stocks that already started the breakout yesterday and that are continuing today. For example, Ivanoe Mines. If we look at Ivanoe Mines, this stock was pretty active yesterday for day trade, so a nice ride it made. It was a day trade of the day on Market Gurus on Market Gurus at TV and also on our Facebook page. So you were able to to benefit from that. And today there are some stocks that are good opportunities for swing trading. London mining is a perfect example of that. You see, it's breaking down its important res its resistance there, so it is going up. But if you get it now, no, it's for short term profit on London mining because there's that top here at 447. Uh, Hot Bay Manor was, it is actually going up. Nice breakout, yes, but still, you know, there's that top here at 874. So even if for swing trading there are good breakouts, those Hot Bay Manor was in London mining, it's not for the long, long run. It's mostly for the short, medium term on those stocks here because there's a resistance not so far away. Today, the stock that really stood out is first quantum manuals because it is totally reversing its downward trend. Not only the stock is good for swing traders, but also for day traders. What a performance here for First Quantum Manual ever since it was put on Market Gurus, that TV top five. From 10% it took from 16.75 to 18.25. Nice entry point over there. You see, you had the opportunity to get in ever since you saw the stock testing that upward trend. So an opportunity to get there here, there, and again there, but also an opportunity to get in on the break of that resistance around this area. So you are able to make a lot of money for day traders on that stock for first quantum manuals. So today, yes, it is going up, but you know that your profit taking should be around this area at 19.92 on first quantum manuals. So that's it, folks. See you next week for our next market report. This is Christian Charlo from DecisionPlus.com. Thank you.
To learn more about us, go to decisionplus.com on the section free trial to try marketguru.tv.